Hello, I'm Jill at ingvid.com and today's lesson is on irregular past tenses, okay? And in particular, irregular past participles, okay, of irregular verbs. So let me just show you uh, some examples to make it clearer what I mean, okay? So what we're doing, we're looking at three different tenses to show how the verb changes. So the present simple of the verb, then the past simple, and then when we use the present perfect, that's when you have to use the past participle. And what happens is sometimes it's the same for both the past simple and the present perfect, but with other verbs, it's different. So I just have two examples here to show you. One verb where it's the same and one verb where it's different, just to illustrate. And then in the second part of the lesson, uh, we will have a list of, of two separate sets of verbs um, and I will test you on your knowledge of uh, the past participles of those and um, they're listed under same and different just to clarify uh, which ones stay the same, which ones are different. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples and then it should all become clearer. So first of all, this is the present simple. I catch a cold every winter. Every winter, I, I chew, I'm sneezing. Oh, terrible. Every winter, I catch a cold. So for something that happens regularly, that is one way that we use the present simple when something happens regularly. Every, every winter, I catch a cold. So the verb is to catch, okay? So then if we put it into the past tense, the past simple, and we say last month, I caught a cold last month, okay? So caught is the irregular past simple form of the verb to catch. I caught a cold last month. I caught a cold last month, but I'm much better now. That sort of idea. Okay. So then the third example here is using the present perfect, which involves using this word, have, as an auxiliary, as an extra verb. So I have caught another cold. Oh dear, I, on, I only had a cold, I caught a cold last month and now I have caught another cold. That's one cold after another. So this is in the more recent past, the present perfect using have, I have caught another cold, um, meaning just recently. So you can see here, that caught stays the same, it's the same. So it's an example where the past simple and the present perfect stay the same. But let's have a look now at an example where there's a change and where they're different, okay? So back to the present simple again, and the verb is to write which is an irregular verb. So I write to my cousin once a year. I have a cousin who is not on email and it makes it rather inconvenient to keep in touch with her. So um, writing letters and putting them in the post, I find a, a terrible uh, job these days. I'm so used to using email for everybody, but I have a cousin who he's not on email and she will not have a computer. 
So um, I have to write a letter to her. I write to my cousin once a year. Okay, so again, that's the, using the present simple for a regular action. Every, once a year is the regular action I write. Okay, so then if we move to the past simple, last week I wrote to my cousin last week. So that's the past simple. So the form there for the past simple is wrote, from right to wrote. But then if we use the present perfect using the auxiliary have, Today, I have written to my cousin today. So recent past, it's a completed action. I have written, thank goodness, I've got that letter written and posted and it's gone now. So that's a job done for the year. Um, so I have written. So you can see there that this form is not the same. They're the same here. I caught, I have caught, but with right, I wrote, I have written to my cousin today. So you can see how past simple and present perfect with different verbs, sometimes they stay the same, other times they're different. Okay. So let's move on to the second part of the lesson and we'll have a look at two lists of verbs and I will test you on your knowledge of the past participles. Okay, so let's have a look at these, which are the verbs which stay the same in the past simple and the present perfect. And I will just write that form in, but just to give you uh, an opportunity first uh, to think what it is. So, to send, I send in the present. Yesterday I... sent. Did you get that one? Okay, so, yesterday I sent. It's always useful to think of some words like yesterday or last week I to help you to form the simple past tense, okay? Right, so make, the verb to make. Yesterday I made, okay? So these are all irregular, so they're not going to be um, with ed on the end, they're, they're going to be different. Sometimes it means that the consonant changes, like from make, K, to D, D to T. Sometimes a vowel will change from one vowel letter to another. So let's carry on. I pay, I pay. Yesterday I paid. So that's changes from an A to an I, and then with a D added, okay? Next one, to say. Today I say, yesterday I said. So that's pronounced said, not said. This is pronounced paid, but that's not pronounced said. <laughs> paid, said. <laughs> So there's a different pronunciation there. Okay, good. Next one, to think. Today I think, yesterday I Mm, that's a funny one, isn't it? G O U G H T often appears in English words. I thought, I thought, I think, I thought. And of course, with the present perfect, you would say, I have sent, I have made, I have paid, I have said, I have thought. So it stays the same in the present perfect. Okay, let's carry on. I stand, today I stand here, 
in front of a camera. Yesterday I... stood. Did you get that one? So from A to double O and we lose the N. Stand, stood and I have stood as well. Okay. Buy. Today I buy some oranges. Yesterday I I bought so it's a bit like thought, thought, bought, okay? Next one, tell. I tell, I tell my friends something today. Yesterday I... told. So the E changes to O, two L's change to one L and we add a D. Tell, told. And also, I have told just the same. Okay. Bring. I bring. Yesterday, I another one of those brought. We have thought, bought, brought. Okay. Right. Next column. Lose. I lose. I lose my keys all the time. Yesterday I lost. And then I, I have lost. I have lost my keys again. I lost. I have lost. Stays the same. Okay. To have. Today I have something. I have. Um, a bottle of water. Yesterday I had. And also with the present perfect, I have had. Have had. So the verb to have appears twice like that. I have, I had, I have had. Okay. To sell. Today I sell my car. Yesterday I I sold. And then a week later I might say to a friend, I have sold my car. Okay. Meet. Today I meet. Yesterday I Met, so one E rather than two. Yesterday I met somebody famous. And then I can say, I have met that famous person. I have met. Okay. Sit. Today I sit. Yesterday I... Sat. So from I to A. I sat. And also, I have sat. Okay. Find. Today, I find my keys. I lost them now. I find them. Yesterday, I found. Found them in a strange place. In the fridge. What were they doing in the fridge? I found my keys in the fridge. And I said, look, I have found my keys. Okay, so find, found, have found. Leave, I leave, I leave. Yesterday I left, left. Okay, and I have left. Next one, hear. I hear something. I hear something. What do I hear? Yesterday, I heard. So the vowel sound changes. Ear, er, hear, heard. 
It's spelt H-E-A-R plus a D, but the vowel sound changes. I hear, I heard, and I have heard. Right, and finally for this one, before we move on to the different ones, teach, I teach, English, yesterday I... I taught, I taught French yesterday. I didn't really, but today I teach English. Yesterday I taught French. I have taught English for many years, okay? Teach, taught, have taught. Okay, so those are all the ones that stay the same. And now let's have a look at the ones that change in the past participle. Okay, so let's have a look at the verbs that change from the past simple to the present perfect using have. So here are some examples. So, forget, today I forget, yesterday I... forgot, so E changes to O, I forgot, and oh dear, I have, I have, forgotten, forgotten, okay, so that's where it changes in the present perfect, I have forgotten, right, next one, I give, today I give, yesterday I gave, with an A, I to A, I gave yesterday, and I have given, so it's back to give, with an N on the end, I gave, I have given. Right, next one, to know. Today I know, yesterday I I knew, so O to E, I knew, yesterday I knew. And I have, if you're thinking of a friend you met 20 years ago, I have, mm, my friend for 20 years. I have known. So it's back to know with an N on the end. I have known my friend for 20 years. Okay. Next one, sing. Today I sing. Yesterday I sang. I to A. And I have sung. So it goes from I to A to you. I sing, I sang, I have sung. Next one, eat. I eat bread every day. Yesterday I ate. This is a funny one, the way it's pronounced. I ate, or some people say ate. It could be either eat, et, or ate, and I have, it's a bit like this again, but with a bit of extra added, eat, un, eaten, I have eaten something, and it's made me feel, ooh, ill, so eat, ate, eaten, Next one, the verb, the important verb to be, um, today I am, of course this is going to change depending on the person you're using, but I am, yesterday I was, or we were, and 
I or we have been. So it's back to be with another en on the end. So that's quite different. Was, were, been. I have been. We have been. Okay. Uh, the verb to do. I do. Yesterday I did. And I have done. So back to the O again. Do, did, done. I have done. Right. Next one. Take. Today I take. Yesterday I took. And I have... Back to take again. Taken. So often this one goes back to looking more similar to the first one. Take, took, taken. Ring. Today I ring. Yesterday I rang, my friend. And I have... Rung. Ring, rang, rung. I have rung. Okay, next one. Drive. Today I drive to work. Yesterday I... Drove to work. I drove. And I have... Dr... Driven. Back again to the I. Drive, driven. Drive, drove, have driven. Okay, next one, break. I break. Yesterday I... Broke. And I have... This time it stays very similar. I have... Broken. Broken with an N on the end. Okay, next one. I speak. Yesterday I... Spoke. I have... Spoken. Again, similar to break. Broke, broken, speak, spoke, spoken. Some of them uh, are very similar. You can see similarities in the way they change. Okay. Okay, run. I run every day. Yesterday I ran and I have run. So run, it's back to the same. Here, I have run. Okay, next one, C. I see. Yesterday, I... I saw. It's a bit different. A-W. Saw. And I have... Seen. So it's back to C with an N added. And then finally, drink. I drink. Yesterday, I drank with an A. And I have drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. Okay? Right. So... Um, I hope that's been a useful um, overview of these different verbs, irregular verbs, and how some of them change in the past participle when combined with have, and some of them don't change, they stay the same. So, if you'd like to go to the website, ingvid.com, 
and do the quiz there to test your knowledge on this. And thank you for watching and uh, see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.